day. I mean, it, it, they're essentially the same, but... A rare veto threat from Governor Ted Kolongoski has school districts all over the state on edge, including the Ben Lapine School District. We will just continue to monitor the situation and uh, make the decisions that we need to make based on the information that, that comes out. Last spring, lawmakers budgeted $6 billion for public schools, keeping around $400 million of that in a separate reserve fund. But this week, House and Senate leaders in Salem want to lower that fund and give an additional $200 million to schools, guaranteeing a total of $5.8 billion statewide. They say it could prevent unnecessary teacher layoffs, something some parents support. Children are our future, and this is not the time to cut back on their education. But the governor says guaranteeing more money puts the state's budget at risk. It's about depleting the reserve uh, level to, um, to a point that he's not comfortable with. The governor only wants to guarantee $5.6 billion to schools. So far, the debate hasn't changed the Ben Lapine School District's budget, which is based on the full $6 billion state projection. Uh, we just think that, uh, that in the end, uh, this estimate will come through. If it doesn't, that could mean more layoffs. But other districts like the Crook County School District based its budget only on the guaranteed $5.6 billion the governor supports. The Redmond School District based its budget on a $5.7 billion state projection, where the Jefferson County School District based its budget on a more conservative $5.4 billion projection. Whatever the final guaranteed state budget is, the next school year won't be affected. But districts fear the year after that. In Bend, Doug Johnson, KOHD News.